Hi hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Beautiful morning from right here at Farm Up. You guys understand that right here at Farm Up, our goal is to be an example and an inspiration to all farmers outside there. So if you want to do poultry farming, you're in the right place. Right there in the background, you can see a chicken house. Yeah, it's, it's morning, so it's just about time when we are collecting eggs. So I have a colleague right there. He's, uh, I think you can see him in blue. Yeah, he's moving in to collect some eggs. And um, you can see our structure. It was built from simple, quick materials. The goal right here is to build things from simple, quick materials, practical ways, you know. I could choose to build the farm from really expensive material, but that won't be helpful. It certainly won't be helpful for anybody because not everyone can afford it. So today, guys, we're going to be building a feed mill. Um, not really a feed mill, but what would be like a feed store. And again, it's going to be built from really simple material. Right here is where we're going to be building it. Right here, as you can see. So we are trying to clear the place. You can see, you know, I've gotten a few contract workers to do the building. So they are starting to take measurements. And we're going to be building the feed mill right here. So it's going to be measuring 8 by 14 meters. So the goal is that it can act as our feed store because currently we've been keeping our feed right here. Yeah, so one door, you see the closed door, that's why the guys who are working here sleep. There are just two of them. And the other side is where we've been mixing our feed. But now we want to, you know, get the feed out of there, put the feed in its own place, which has a bit better rodent proofing and resistance. And then we can Fun, make these places look better and have the guys stay inside there you know um, when it, it's looking way better so I'm going to be taking you guys through it as we do our construction again don't forget the goal is to be practical and what we're going to do right here is very practical right here is a forest it's an artificial forest that was planted by my dad it's on about maybe four five acres of land and this is eucalyptus. These are eucalyptus poles, as you can see right here. So it's a huge forest, and what I've done is that I've brought some guys over here, and they're going to be helping me to cut down some trees that I'm going to be using to construct the structure. So the frame of the structure is really going to be eucalyptus trees. So already they have started to cut them down because the goal for today is to flatten the area where we're going to be constructing, dig the holes, and cut down the poles. Then tomorrow we start putting the poles up. The purpose of this forest is to have trees for construction so i don't want any complaints of deforestation in the comment section because hey there was nothing right here so the trees were planted for this purpose hopefully we'll be able to do it quick enough we're going to get maybe 80 poles or so hopefully those will be enough and then tomorrow we'll start the construction Hi guys, beautiful morning from the farm. It's day two. Our poles that are going to be used for construction are delivered. They delivered very late yesterday and right here is our site. Yeah? So our construction is going on right now. So here is the site. You can see they are currently doing some form of leveling. Yeah? And you can see the holes that have been dug where the concrete is going to go. And before the end of the day, we're going to carry some of these poles and put them in here to start the construction. So we are making very good progress uh, on day two. So as you can see, some of the posts are already in. So the ones in the corners are already in and we're trying to fix in the rest along the length of the entire structure. So we have a few of them already in. We've been distorted by rain, but we're always told that rain is a blessing and you never complain when it comes because there's lots of people who never get rain. I hear that there are places on earth where they get rain once in three years. How the hell is that even possible? How do you survive? Well, we are blessed that it can rain every day over here. And right now the rainy season has started. So it will slow us down a little bit. But hey, the work is actually still going on. So as you can see, like I've already shown you, we already have some of the posts in. Um, three posts over there in the distance. So it looks like we're making good progress. By the end of the day, we'll have all the posts on the ground in, and then tomorrow we can start the work at the top, which is actually the main work. And then soon we'll have the sheeting all around, and then we'll pour, you know, maram or whatever on the inside to level the ground. It's 
now day three of the construction and our shell is up as you can see this is the frame of everything and we've got the people who are going to be roofing they have arrived this morning and they're going to be starting with the work of the roofing the roofing work is the most technical work right here so they're going to be doing the roofing work and their boss told me that it's going to take them about three days to do the roofing so i'm excited once they do have the roofing done we'll put some tanks you know construct some water tank somewhere so that we arrest all the water space imagine how big this roof is you know the house is eight meters by 14 meters in length that's a lot of roof space same thing with the chicken house over there in the distance yeah uh, i'm going to be putting gutters and already we are constructing an area where we're going to be collecting the water so that will take a 10,000 capacity tank i believe even this one maybe i'll put five thousand over here uh, in order to be able to collect water uh, to use so that my water bill is not so high currently my water bill is crazy high yeah it's really high and it's not sustainable hi guys beautiful morning right here at the farm and as you can see we've made very good progress for the work that we are going to be doing so you can see the structure right here it's very ready for roofing. Now I know it looks quite strange seeing it like this, yeah? It looks like a weak structure. But you know, using physics and the way the structures are built, it's actually a very strong structure, yeah? I, can, I can't push it, it can't move, yeah? So what would ideally make it weak would be the base, you know, at the foundation down over here. We'll take a look at this pole, for example, yeah? So this pole is very strong with all the weight coming to it from the top going downwards. So it doesn't matter, even a very small pole like this is actually very strong as long as the weight upon it is vertical. So you see this is slanting, so this certainly makes it weak, yeah? But this is vertical, yeah? So if all the weight upon it is vertical, it, you know, it will stand really, really strong as long as it's not slanted. So the biggest problem is usually the base. For example, at the bigger farm, you know, at the bigger farm, we have those structures that we had built out of timber and wood. But the problem over there is that there's a lot of termites in the ground. Unlike this place, you know, this place actually has a lot of maram in the ground. You can see as soon as we start digging, just one foot, you have maram. So to actually get to two, three feet, which is required to put in the pole, you're just going through maram. So the ground is very hard and strong. So we are not worried. We actually ha don't have any termites over here and we've put concrete around it. So we are really not worried about it. So it's going to be a very, very strong structure. As you can see it here, you can't move it, you know, you can't move it. It should last at least 15 years over here. I know that it will be able to last that. And then we're also going to build, you know, a small brick line around it to provide a bit of more structural support. And then we shall put our iron sheets on the side. So it's going to be a very strong structure. And already today we're going to start the roofing, which is like the most delicate or complicated work. So you can see our iron sheets right here. So we've gathered the iron sheets right there. We have more iron sheets in the distance. And we're going to be roofing. After we finish the roofing, we shall build around. And then after that, we shall do the screeding. We shall be the last bit. You know, do the leveling and do the screeding on the inside here. So we're going to be leveling the surface down here using stones. So I'll just walk over and show you guys the stones that we're going to be using. Okay. So these are the stones right here. We've been ferring them with our tricycle. So we've actually already put quite an amount a number of stones right here and we'll just throw them inside there try to level you can see the guys carrying the iron sheet and then we we'll level the place and screed it so i'm excited i know that we are almost getting done my mission here is almost done so how about that for progress guys tell me what you think i think we made good progress so far we are done with the roofing as you can see and we are getting to complete the rest of the sides of the chicken house. So we are certainly not done with the groundwork and with the top, but I'll explain to you what's happening right now that it's starting to take shape. If you can take a look at the top, you'll probably see it from the inside. So let's get in from this other side, yeah? If you take a look at the top, we have, you know, mesh wire, and then there's chicken wire also on the inside. That's to make sure birds, and you know, other things don't come in from the inside, from the outside, birds and anything else that would come out. And then we have this, you know, iron sheet on the side. So these iron sheets are 10 feet tall. 
in terms of height. It's 10 feet. The mesh is two feet. So we have 12 feet of height from bottom to top. And that simply means I can put in some machinery in here. Maybe a mixer, you know, meals, things like that. So it's a big house, as you can see. Like I said, it's measuring 14 meters by 8 meters in width. So this is our floor. We've tried to level it, as you can see right now. But getting the level is, is, has been quite hard. But we are going to get done with it. Tomorrow we shall be done with all the sides, yeah? So we have that over there being our entrance. We'll put more iron sheeting at the top of the side. You can see our roof right here, and we'll put more iron sheeting at the side, this side. And then we shall pour a concrete floor at the bottom. We're going to be putting a ramp right here at the entrance so that you know, if you have a truck or anything, offloading is, is made quite easy. So yeah, um, the guys are getting, are moving on with the work, quite well with the work. Uh, later on, we're going to have to put first boards on the side so that we can trap rainwater. So the reason I've left the sides open is to ensure that we have sunlight and air coming in for exchange. You know, sunlight and air coming in. Uh, these sides, the top and the bottom are going to be covered completely. But the sides will simply have those as what brings in light and ventilation. That's why it's two feet, you know. So we're going to build down with brick. So we'll build with brick right from the ground up to the level. You know, this level. That way the house is quite rodent proof. I don't expect rodents to get in here because I don't expect rats to climb on top of an iron sheet, you know. There's just no way rats are going to be climbing on an iron sheet. So it's going to be quite a rodent proof house. The only possible access would be the door, but we're going to try to make sure we rodent proof the door also as much as possible. a little bit longer than expected a little bit longer than i wanted but finally it is here guys this is going to be our feed store finally it is upon us yeah i'm so excited that it's finally gotten done and um i'll just show you around it before we were using a very small room on that house as our feed store actually before we go inside there let me go and show you guys exactly what the feed store looked like here we go um quite a lot of stuff inside we have a food dip right here to ensure that you know every time someone has to enter in here they, they disinfect their shoes or boots this is the store and yeah this is what it looked like yeah so uh we have our our feed concentrates here as you can see them yeah also here we have some concentrate then we have the feed yeah so this should be maize yeah this is maize over here so we have quite a number of bags of maize available and then we have maize bran yeah over there we have maize bran then down here we have limestone in these white bags we have limestone it also works as a store you know for keeping random stuff as you can see some iron sheets this is the disinfectant that we use a lot of you guys keep asking what kind of disinfectant do you use this is a very effective disinfectant it's the best i've gotten on the market yet so it's what i use to put in the food dip like one over there and every time the guys have to disinfect or spray around with the pump this is what we use. It's quite expensive, but very effective. I love it. Over here, we have our weighing scale. I'll just weigh myself right here. Okay, I'm standing on and 68. Well, together with the camera. Maybe without the camera, it's less. Maybe 67 point something. But yeah, so we'll turn it off right here. And this is the feed, some of the feed. So we mix the feed using shovels. As you can see, yeah, we've been mixing the feed using shovels. So it's not a very huge space, not very huge, sufficient enough. Yeah, I'll probably stand at the end so that we can see it. Yeah, it's sufficient enough, but not the best, you know. So we're going to be moving out and we'll be moving into our brand new feed store. Okay, so the guys have just finished and um, 
that might mean that I might not be able to move in. Maybe let's first inspect the outside. So as you can see, the outside has been built very beautifully. It's been built using iron sheet, you know, simply iron sheet material. So just the sides, this top was covered all the way up, but the sides over here are not covered all the way up. There's space left for ventilation, yeah? And then the bottom, as you can see, we've built some form of veranda around it, but it's also bu been built to ensure that it's rodent proof. You know, the last thing you do want is rats going inside the feed store. They can be such a menace, such a menace. So we've tried to rodent proof it all around. There's literally no interest for, for rats, yeah? They won't be able to get in apart from, from the the main door but even the main door they have tried to build it in such a place that there is literally almost no space at the bottom that would allow for rats to get in now of course there's space at the top over there but for that rat to go in it would have to have some superpowers yeah to be able to climb up and run on an iron sheet it doesn't have the grip to be able to climb on an iron sheet vertically the only possible way is if they would climb these trees over there climb these trees go on the roof and then and then move in. So this is probably a possible loop hole. As you can see, the trees have some form of contact with the house. So we'll probably have to cut off some of the branches. So there's totally no contact between the trees and the chicken house. Over here, we have a ramp. As you can see, it's drying up right now because the guys just got done with the work today. So it's drying up. Um, and there we have our door. They've tried to build it quite well, you know. I'll move over there probably. And this one is a bit dry, it can take my weight. Yeah. So this is our door, and you can see how it has been built at the bottom to ensure that there is almost no space. Yeah. Very, very little space. And we'll try to open it up. And um, I think I can't move in because the guys just got done with the work. Yeah. So I'll have to record from here. But as you can see, We've screeded the floor. It looks very beautiful, honestly. It looks very beautiful. We have two poles in the middle, simply to provide support uh, from, the, from the top right there. It's very spacious, so the only thing left right now is putting in pallets, um, giving it a bit of time to dry, and then it's going to be ready, very ready, uh, for us to transfer and use as our feed store. Tell me what you think. I think we are making some really good leaps forward. The next work is really going to be with that house over there, you know, to plaster it on the outside, get it finished and done, so that it looks acceptable and presentable, you know, for the staff that are working around to ensure that, you know, they are staying in a decent place, yeah? So we're going to work on it, um, and then after that, of course, in the background, you can see that we have a chicken house. We're going to build another chicken house just next to it, yeah? Because the birds that we are brooding right now are going to have to do production from there. So they are brooding, they're going to move to our old layer house to do our, their rearing, but then production will have to be here because there are too many for that house, yeah? So we're going to have to build another chicken house right here. Maybe in the next three months or so, we'll have to build another chicken house. So I'm very excited. Then maybe next year, sometime next year, we'll have to build a third chicken house. And then again, next year, a fourth chicken house. So we're going to have quite a lot of work coming up, but I'm excited about this. Tell me what you think about this. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button, smash the notification bell. That way you never miss out on an upload. Lots of love. Bye-bye.